And we're back. Hey, everybody. Last Outrider here with another exciting episode of Who Are the Exodites? And I know you were waiting for it. This time we're talking about what type of planets the Exodites go to. Many people, if you have the old fluff, thought Exodites went off to the Maiden Worlds. They did not. That is a major rule change. I know it's shocking, but it's true. So, where did they go? The Exodite worlds are untamed and often dangerous planets. Their landscapes, without the engineered sterility of the craft worlds or the ancient, now lost worlds of the Ildar Empire. Mighty rivers roar unchecked over their natural floodplains. Massive forests stretch over thousands of miles of virgin woodland. The few meager settlements coexist with wild beasts of all kinds. So these are not nice places, but let's go on. Most of the Exodite worlds are home to gigantic beasts, which the Exodites now name... Oh, I'm sorry, which the Exodites know by a name taken from Eldar myth. And surprisingly human myth can you guess what these gigantic beasts are that exodites live with i'll give you another second to think about it ponder it a little bit because i i it, it, you should know if you ever wanted an exodite army there is a very typical beast that the exodites are known for riding no okay they are known by a name taken. Last chance, nothing, nothing, nothing. Fine. Okay. Taken from Eldar myth, that of dragons. It is likely that these creatures are native to many planets, but that the early settlers also spread them throughout all worlds they settled upon, so that they are now common on all Exodite planets. The Exodite follow the dragon herds as they graze the endless grasslands of the Great Plains. By carefully managing them, the Eldar live upon them, eating their flesh, utilizing their skins to make clothing, and even drinking their blood. Although this lifestyle is, in many respects, a primitive one, the Exodites have many advanced technologies and are familiar with all the advanced materials used on the craft world. It is by choice that they live as they do, and their way of life has proven, perhaps, every bit as successful as that of the other Eldar. So, they're not savage orcs. They're not idiots. Okay? They know all the modern technology that uh, Craftwell Eldar have, and I assume Dark Eldar too. They just choose not to use it. Next. Dragons. There are many different kinds of dragons. Some unique to specific worlds. So you're going to see that's going to be the, um, the customization factor of this army. Customization factor for Craftworld Eldar is what craft world will you come through? Customization for the Dark Eldar is your different your homunculi or witch or, or, or just Kabbalite warriors. Customization for the Exodite army is going to be what world they come through and what dragons they have on that world. Some might have breeds that are only on world X and other on world Y, and that's going to make them different. I'm also going to assume that their color schemes are going to be based upon the dragons as well, too. So, let's see. Some are unique to specific worlds. They are used in different ways according to their size and nature. The Megadons are massive herbivores, 
slow-witted and easy to manage, though deadly if panicked or mistreated. These creatures provide most of the material resources of the Exodites, and small ones are used to transport cargoes and people across the Great Plains. A large Megadon can carry a massive structure upon its back, and they bear the most enormous rates without concern. Smaller, carnivorous dragons ridden by Exodite warriors are used to herd and control the Megadons. Warriors are virtually born in the tall dragon saddles and wield their long lances with consummate ease. A stab with a lance will turn or stop a Megadon without harming it. But the same blow would knock even the most hardy exile Eldar on his ass with but a scratch. Ooh. I'm going to assume that these are the same lances that are used by the striking spears. So lots to think about there. Megadons, we're going to go on to the next dragons and then the next episodes, but I think you can clearly see that this is a fully fleshed out army list by now. Exodites are simply a matter of time. Until then, bye.